Hi there, this is Johanna with Herald Studio and I'm here to talk to you today about uh, these digital calipers and why we love them. So uh, these guys are great. Uh, we use them for a lot of different things such as finding the stone depth, uh, which is really necessary for if your stone setting, uh, the depth, the diameter, if you wanna do the ring size of something. Um, and I'll get into all of the ways that we use them in just a minute, but I have them right up here up close. The way they work is you just open them up right here and close them and you can get the reading right here of how many millimeters or inches they are. So the inches, as you know, we don't really use in jewelry making so much. So uh, one of the negative pieces of having these guys is that sometimes this button can get hit and you don't know that you're in the inches. It can also, um, let's see, let me look at what they're at right now. So they're in millimeters and it's zeroed, uh, but it's kind of easy to accidentally zero them out uh, when they're open and then get an inaccurate reading or the wrong ring size uh, if you don't realize the mistake you've made. But after you've made that mistake maybe once or twice, you're not likely to make it again and we'll be double checking your work. So uh, I'm gonna show you some of the things that I do use them for now. And you'll just have to take my word for what the readings are on here. So I can't bring the uh, calipers up to the screen so well. So the diameter, I've got this diamond right here that I want to set. Uh, I can, um, if you are doing any faceted stone setting, a super important thing to know is what the depth of your stone is. So I can bring them in up on the culet of the stone and down, and I get a reading of 4.32 for my depth right here. I can also come in and see how big this guy is, 6.42, so I can know what size burr I need to use to create the perfect setting for it. Um, moving on to rings. If I'm going to make the perfect ring size for someone, I need to get the inside diameter of my ring. So I'll be using these guys, the top part of these calipers right here, to come in and get the inside diameter measurement of this ring so that I can make my ring. They're also great for, I use the longer part for figuring out the depth of the material that I'm using. And a really nice trick that I love to do is um, bringing them and using them as a scribe along metal. So if I want to cut this guy down to 4.3 millimeters wide, I can just use this dial right here to lock my calipers in place and scribe a nice perfectly straight line along this edge of metal. Can you see that guy okay? Let's see, right here. There we go. Take my word for it, you can get a really nice line and, um, in your metal and be able to cut that guy really good. Uh, let's see, what else do I use them for? Oh, another really nice trick when you're using calipers, when you're making a ring, you need to know it's uh, filed to the correct length. I'll um, bring them in and see, did I file these guys straight? Well, I can hold my calipers and the metal up to the light and see if there's any light poking through down at the bottom or the top, along with seeing how long this guy is cut to, 52.2 millimeters. All right, those are some of the ways that we love to use these calipers. Um, the only downsides I've really had with them is sometimes this battery holder right here can become loose. I've only really ever noticed it in our bigger sets of calipers, but it, it can happen um, where this might fall out. We've had to tape over it. Usually when it gets to the point where it need, it's loose, it might need to be kind of replaced altogether. Um, the ones that we've had have become a little bit faulty like that. Um, they're not great if you're left-handed. It's just like everything else, The tool, most tools aren't made for you, and I'm sorry about that, but this grip right here is really nice if you're a right-handed person to open and close with your thumb. Um, and I think that that is pretty much it. I'd highly re recommend them. Get the shorter six-inch size. They're far and away superior to the longer set. Thank you so much for watching our video. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. 
We're excited to bring you more DIY metal smithing videos in the future.